la 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 Hey guys, you're back at the song room with Chris. And Tim. How are you, Tim? I'm great, thanks. How are you, Chris? Very, very good. And who have we got as guests tonight, Timbo? We've got Felix Rebel and Tash Memorakis. It's going to be one hell of a night. Let's get on in there. How are you boys? Very well. Very good. Being How busy painting. Tim's just bought the theatre up in Castlemaine, so... Not, not bad, Tim. Most people just start with a house, but you've bought the Theatre Royal. Yeah. So... Well, you know, I'm, th I'm a theatrical type. It? Are you going to flip it? Have you been watching The Block? Put it in a nice fancy bathroom, lots of marble. Yeah, yeah. Just mark it up, sell it on. That's how you do it in real all, estate. All that shit. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you do with it. Yeah. So, yeah, apologies for the attire. Um, we're covered in paint and muck. So. I like it. All right, well, great. I'm glad that we caught up. How's your uh, week been? It's You've been moving things. house. I am moving. I like that Like we have a brief therapy session before we actually bring out the musicians people care about. Um, yes, I am moving house. It's awful. Why did I agree to move Christmas Eve? I don't know. It's fucked. So our first guest this evening we should welcome uh, straight away... Felix Rebel is a singer, songwriter and composer based in Melbourne. He's the co-founder, band leader and principal songwriter of the internationally acclaimed band The Cat Empire. Put your hands together please for Felix. <laughs> How you going mate? Um, now Felix, let's talk about the first song that you're going to play this evening. It's an original of yours called Crocodiles. Tell us a little bit about this song. Have people heard this before or is this a relatively new track? This is a, a track on the album that I've got out at the moment, a solo album. Um, and it's, well, it's a travelling song, I suppose. I went to Timor-Leste, which uh, you guys know as East Timor, and I was just fascinated by the place. And the island's in the shape of a big crocodile and it was kind of unsettling and very beautiful and... Uh, Let's have a listen without any further ado. Okay. Jaws of a crocodile's dream I was riding with veil Cross borders on the scene Never been there before In a beautiful strange Through the deep green jungle To the red moss plains As the hot day drew its thick breath We were close enough to fly And to be near enough to death There were ghosts swimming in my thoughts I'd say that I'd never been so close to home and so far away as in Timor-Leste, 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 Timor Timor-Leste, 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 Timor Timor-Leste, 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 Timor Motor stopped and the night was still Except the fan kept clipping on the Windowsill and the tap kept dripping in that orange room. My heart was dancing with the elephants. Boom, boom, boom. And I, I couldn't sleep. I was wide awake like a super mosquito. Couldn't catch it or escape from it. I write songs I don't often pray, but I've never been so glad for the break of day as in Our own map 
collapse if we redraw the lines if we distort the facts cause we're too afraid of the love of the deep of the big green devil in rt maurice he'll eat up your ideas rip up your cause make a bite mark bigger than a king lion's raw no gauze could cover that wound white teeth make a crooked white wall of my country's embassy that's it So when when you wrote that song, Felix, did you write it when you were over there, or was it one of those things where, like, I guess the the spirit of the island got stuck in you, and by the time you got home, you just couldn't shake it, and it only came out through the music? No, it came afterwards for sure. I mean, I went over there um, to I mean to go exploring, but I had intentions of writing music and maybe doing an album or something like that. And as I was over there, I realised that um, my place as a songwriter is a very personal one. It's not one to appropriate anywhere else. I suppose I've been a songwriter that's um, that's drawn on music from a lot of different places. It, the Cat Empire is full of influences from everywhere, really, and and my personal stuff is too. And um, there's a big difference between being a kind of a thief with music, someone like a joyful thief, if you like, someone who can take ideas from everywhere and, and find sparks and, and turn them into your own thing, and going to a place and um, I suppose appropriating a sound. And I, th I still think travelling is very important for music. I just, in the end, think that um, what you make of these things uh, in a very, very personal moment, like a song like that, explaining it, you know, a journey, is, um, is about all you can do. Yeah. Uh, it's time to welcome, though, our second guest for this evening. Now, Tash Memorakis is a dreamer and a doer with the freshest of fresh music spilling from her brain box like a slow-motion shot of pearls cascading from a jewellery box. That is the most colourful and best descriptive bio I've read this entire season. Uh, it's beautiful, it's deep, and it's literally here. Please put your hands together for Tash Memorakis. Thank you. How you doing? I'm really good. Pretty excited? Good. You excited? Nervous? I'm excited. Yeah, I wanna, great. I want to play. Yeah. Let's play. Let's do it. Um, hey, we're going to start with one of your originals as well. Now, tell me a little bit about this song. It's called In the Morning. That was actually my f the first song I've ever written with Dave Bramble, who's going to be playing on keys later on. And how do you find the co-writing experience? Like, is that is, I think do you it's find an it important helpful? thing to collaborate when you write. I think it adds you can do your own thing, but I think writing with a different with another artist it can it can add a different perspective, mm -hmm. and it can be quite it can be something that you couldn't do on your own. Mm. So and do you bring do you bring lyrics to the table? And Dave works on the music, or do you have like a rough music Usually idea? Usually that's how it works. Yep. So I'll have some lyrics and he'll do the chords and then we'll just be like, boom, boom, ba, Boom, boom, ba, And yeah. that, ladies and gents, is the music <laughs> business. Well, let's boom, boom, ba your first song uh, in the morning. In the morning. But sing it now. Don't do it in the morning. Sing I'll it now. It but now. it's called In the Morning. Excellent. Let's go. Worlds away. Time and space Who's got the strength To deem our fate The stars in line As the night sky comes alive Waiting for tomorrow I know you will be mine In the morning doesn't seem so clear in the morning I can almost dream you here even though you're not you take away what is left of this all these games Leaves no room for bliss. Could we go down the 
this road once again who's to know who is my friend in the morning when it doesn't seem so clear in the morning i can almost dream you here in the morning and it doesn't seem so clear in the morning i can almost dream you here even though you're not here Good stuff, Tash. So did you always know you could could sing while you were playing your one-string guitar in your bedroom? That I could sing? That you could sing? Was that, or was that like a, one of those things where it like... It wasn't a thing in my head because I yeah. just did it for my own... I'm going to say healing because that was what it was for, for me. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, when I went to Dave, he was like, oh, you can sing. And I was like, really? I don't know. <laughs> Um, and wh what was the moment? Were you just like softly singing to yourself and he walked in and went, that's it, Tash, you've got it. I'm going to call my man Chris. I've got to have her. <laughs> um, no? Well, what, I, was, what was the context? Were you, were you performing at a school thing or what, what no, was the moment I, that you I sang? I never did it at school. That was like, I kept it, it was my bedroom. Mm. So I just played music in my bedroom and mm. then I was like, oh, I kind of really like doing this. So why don't I just do it? So how did, what, what I'm trying to work out is like, how did... How did Dave see it in you to hear you sing? Like, what was I the moment? I gave him a CD that I had. I had a record. Like, I used to press record on my phone while I just sang random shit. Yeah. Like, pff, I don't know what it was. Skip a bit that put down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and then he was like, oh, yeah. I don't know how to describe it. It's a compelling story already. <laughs> <laughs> recorded some shit on my phone and he went, oh, Yeah. <laughs> When we make the it telly movie sounds... of your journey, it's going to be incredible. I'll, I'll, I'll fill it out. I'll fill it out. It'll be lots of slow-mo montage shots. <laughs> yeah. um, well, that's, that's really exciting. So, so how old... Have you performed many gigs? Obviously, you played Dave's gig where Chris, Chris spotted you. Yes. But are you, are you pretty experienced now at gigs or are you still well, fresh? I feel... I feel well, it's, it's in the middle of both, I reckon. Mm. So... I've done a handful of gigs. I'm going to say under 10 mm. in my life. I love that. That's, that's not halfway. That's fresh. <laughs> yeah, it's not halfway. No, you know the rule. 20 and you're done. <laughs> you guys are hours. overdue to retire, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying the basics. Um, yeah, once you do your 20, stop it. Uh, after that point, you become yeah, a recluse and you to. just release the odd album every 10 years. Everyone loves it. Um, this is another one. It's called yes, Worthy. It is. Tell me a little bit about this song. This is kind of a song... How do, it's so hard to describe and articulate, because mm -hmm. um, it means it means a, like it's pretty much telling yourself to follow your dreams. Great, Th that was pretty simple. That is, <laughs> it's not that hard at all. I reckon you've hit the nail on the yeah. head. You smashed the, you smashed that synopsis out of the park, and you should feel very proud of yourself. <laughs> you, Tash, are also worthy, worthy of singing this song called Worthy. Without any further. Faffing and... Well, there's a slightly more because we need to get Dave up. Oh, we have to get Dave oh, up. Do. Oh, it's Dave Bramble, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands oh, together really? for Dave. Dr. Bramble. <laughs> he was in the dunny. Classic. Bad timing, wasn't it? Sorry. No, you got to go when you got to go, Dave. No yeah. fingers pointed from this seat. Right. Um, so we're going to play the song Worthy and you were worthy to take that toilet break and now I hope you're, you. you're ready to roll. Um this Can one's the A minor C, E minor D. Oh, cool. And then the chorus is. So, the a Tash, minor just to confirm, D. it was this man that co wrote the song with you? Guy. Because if it's just some guy from the front bar, we'll get him removed. You can tell me.
Thank you, Felix. That's all right. Were you scared he was going to do another... <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I like this one. Yeah. We've got one last song from you, Felix, before we get to the final Sultan's Choice. Mm -hmm. um, this is your cover, and uh, you've chosen a song by the late, great Leonard Cohen. Um, lover, Lover, Lover is a song that you've picked. Um, I'm interested in your reasoning for choosing this because I know that we've been talking a bit earlier about your big musical loves and influences, and one of the things that you said was loving music that you don't hear or understand the lyrics to and you're solely feeling based on the music. Mm. And yet I think Leonard Cohen is possibly the antithesis of that yeah, and yeah, he's, totally. the, he's he's a real yeah, he's yeah. the lyricist guy, you know. Yes, so yeah. is he your exception to the rule or Well no, no, there's a lot of songwriters whose lyrics I love. Don't take me wrong about what I said before. It's just you know, there's a lot of aspects to me. Why do you hate words so much, Felix? Oh, I think it's because I love them so much <laughs> that I try to get away from them. You know, music's great because it breaks language open, but Leonard's one of those rare uh, songwriters who's so articulate uh, and so kind of magical that he almost achieves the same thing, you know, as that. Um, yeah, I, I, I really... It was it was so nice on, on the tour recently, uh, kind of celebrating Leonard because I never thought that anyone was as prepared for dying as, as he was. Mm. And um, and we, we sang this song and it sort of just stayed with me and um, it's, you know, it's, it's able to be sung by a lot of people so anyone who feels like singing in the choruses can, can join in. Let's but, uh, hear it. Let's yeah, do it. Lenny's an old companion. Lover, lover, lover. Especially you, Tim. You can definitely yeah. join in. Thanks, Chris. I asked my father, I said, Father, change my name. The one I'm using now, it's covered up with fear and filth and cowardice and shame. Yes, and love, 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 come back to me. Yes, and love. Send love, 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 love,
May it be a shield for you, a shield against the enemy. Strong finish, Felix. Right. That was good. <laughs> Feel good? It felt good, didn't it? It felt good here. No, I wasn't even one. singing, so you should be really pleased with yourself. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, we have one last song. This is the final Sultan's Choice for the evening that we're going to finish on. You're going to play Happy Christmas, War Is Over. Yeah. And I would suggest that this is one of the ones, along with Rob Thomas and Santana Smooth, that everyone can very easily sing along with should they feel so inclined. And given that this is our last song room before Christmas, we are coming back for one between Christmas and New Year. But, you know, as we, as we plummet towards Christmas, this is a nice finish. So feel free to sing along if you want to. Happy Christmas. War is over. So this is Christmas. What have you done? Another year over And a new one just begun So this is Christmas I hope you had fun The near and the dear ones The old and the young very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's hope it's a good one without any fear. So this is Christmas <laughs> for the weak and for strong. Fuck you, mate. <laughs> the rich and the poor ones. <laughs> The world is so wrong A So happy Christmas For black and for white For yellow and red ones Let's stop all the fights Very Merry Christmas And a Happy New Year Let's so have we done another year over a new one just begun so this is Christmas we hope you have fun the near and the dear ones the old and the young get you to please put your hands together for our guest this evening, Tashma Marakis, <laughs> Felix Rebel. Please also put your hands together, house band The Basics. <laughs> the staff here at the Northcote Social Club, thank you so much for coming down. We'll see you next week, hopefully. And please put your hands together for our host for this evening, Jess Maguire. Woo!